Hello guys, welcome to another exciting video on TradingKeller.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at the TradeGPT Expert Advisor for MetaTrader 5. So let's quickly dive in. The Expert Advisor is just $25 only. I'm going to be adding this link in the description below so that you guys can download it and check it out for just $25 only. And the platform is for MetaTrader 5. The currency pairs, according to the developer, it trades on EURUSD on the one minute time frame. It allows demo accounts, the streaming strategies, also the hedging and netting types. And you can also backtest in the system. The amount recommended by the developer is also $300. So you can also come down here and see some pictures and some description of the robot. We are going to proceed to install this expert advisor right away. So before we do the installation, guys, I attached a terminal here for all custom expert advisors used by this platform. So if you download an expert advisor and for some reason it tells you that there's an invalid license or something, please proceed to download this terminal here and you can use this terminal. In this video, we're going to be using this terminal and then we are also going to be looking at how to disable live updates on the MetaTrader terminal. Okay, so let's quickly head over to our file here. So this is the file you download from tradingcare.com, the TradeGPC MT5, the version is version 2.2 and you can see here it also calls the version 2.0 and version 2.1 and then version 2.2. So we're going to load up with version 2.2. So let's first of all get the terminal here. Like I said here, this is the terminal that you're going to download here. I'm going to download this folder here and then you're going to extract it here. This is the 3662 terminal. Okay, so let's just double click on this and bring this up to our chat. Okay, I'm going to click on yes. Okay, awesome. So we have this terminal here and we are automatically logged in because the terminal automatically created an account for us. You can see your account registration here. Okay, but if you want to log into your main account, you can just go to file and go to open an account. And then you can add the company. If your company is Alpari or Tickme or whatever, you can add it here. And then you find your company and then you proceed to uh, go to file and then go to login. And then you can log into your account. Okay, you can see your company down here and then you can log in. Okay, so let's first of all add the DLL file. So I'm going to close out this terminal here. And then we're going to add the DLL file from our uh, 3GPT. Okay, so we're going to our 3GPT here. We're going to copy the DLL file here. I'm going to copy these two files. I'm just going to copy. I'm going to head over back to my previous terminal here. This is the terminal here. I'm just going to right click. And I'm going to click on paste. Okay, I'm going to replace the file in destination. So we've currently pasted the two files here. The DLL file and the OLEACC file. Or the terminal that we downloaded from the kernel. Okay, so this is where you're going to paste it at. And the folder where it says MT53662. Okay, so now we've done that here. We're going to go back to our previous terminal here. And then we're going to click on the 3GPC. We're going to click on Expert. Then we're going to copy all of the files. But you can just copy the latest version. We're just going to copy all of them at once. And then we're going to go back to our terminal. Then we're going to open our terminal. It's usually going to log you out. But because we created an account, we're still going to log in. Okay, automatically logs us back in. And then we're going to click on File. Then we're going to click on Open Data Folder here. Then we'll click on MKO5 and then click on Experts. And then we're going to paste this in the Advisors directory. Okay, so paste this in the Advisors directory here. So we're going to have it pasted in the Advisors directory. So we can just cancel out of here and then cancel out of here. Then refresh our Advisors directory here. So we have the 3 GPT 2.2. Okay, so according to developer, it works on the Euro USD on the one minute time frame. So uh, we're just going to click on View, click on uh, Market Watch, and then load up the Euro USD. Okay. We'll open this on the one minute time frame. Okay, so that's awesome. So the one more thing we need to do is to make sure we head over to tools, head over to options, and then make sure we have allow algorithm trading turned on. Just gonna disable these two check marks here. And then we're gonna make sure we have allow dealer inputs and then allow web requests. So we're gonna click on OK. And once we've done that, we're also gonna make sure we have this algorithmic trading button turned on. So it's gonna show green when it's turned on and it's gonna show red when it's turned off. So now we have that turned on. The next thing we're gonna have to drive this 3 GPT to our charts. And then you can see it's currently that they're going to go to the input section. We're going to come over, make sure you allow modification of signal settings. Head over to the inputs. And then we can leave everything as default because that's how it is according to the developer. And then we click on OK. So if I head over here and go to my view and go to my toolbox here, you can see if I go to the experts, you can see that the trade GPT is currently on. As it says, program works correctly. Okay. Let's head over back to the expert properties and see if there's anything we need to look at. Okay. So the money management dynamic risks 5.0, lot size 0 0.1, the hedge mode is off, and then the virtual stop loss is also off as well. So magic number is 18, the start hour is 2, 
the start minute is zero and then the end hour is two so for the start hour you can set this to um to zero and then for the end hour you can set this to 23. okay you can set this to 23. okay and then trade on friday you can set that as on and then trading stop loss you can say that's moderate okay so click on okay and then that has been set up so obviously it's going to trade for you but let's just do a quick back test here to see how this trading system works i'm going to open up the strategy tester here and then i'm just going to drag this up a little bit click on visualize so we can actually visualize the trades and drag this up a little bit I'm going to open up the trade gpt then we're going to load this on the one minute on the euro ust click on all forex this on euro ust and then the entire history Let's click on custom period, click on uh, today. Let's just run this from the first till today. All right, so click on this every tick, then put a thousand dollars and yep. So let's just start this out and see how it works. Okay, so we're going to download the historical data right now and we should be done in a few. Awesome. So we are done and um, historical data is correctly downloaded. I'm just going to slow this out here so I can actually see properly here. Okay, so I'm going to minimize out. As you can see, we are currently on a sell trade and uh, you can see we had uh, multiple sell trades here. Okay. So it's a kind of like a uh, hedging or greed system. So once you've opened a trade in a direction, if it goes in the opposite direction, it's going to open multiple trades to counter the loss from the previous tree that was opened. Okay. I'm just going to speed this up here. Okay. So you can see we just had a single trade and that was because we're holding that trade across a very long period of time okay so basically looks for uh, support or resistance positions and then opens those positions okay and then hedges those positions if they go in the other direction okay so you can see the history here and then you can see the operations okay so one more thing we can look at is how to disable auto updates on the meta twitter 5 because if you're working on this terminal MT5 is going to suggest that you autom automatically update your MetaTrader 5, which in turn could stop this expert advice from working. Okay, so to stop auto updates, just head over to your file, open your data folder, and then on the live updates, right click on it and delete the live updates folder. Okay, then right click, click on new, click on uh, text document file, and save this as live updates. Okay, and you can leave that as it is. And then head over to the roomy make sure you uh take note of this number zero e zoom d six okay head over to your roaming head over to web install and if you have a folder here called live updates you can just right click on it and do the same thing we did on the meta coast folder okay it's important that you do that in this scenario here we didn't download the seminar from the web from our broker so we didn't do any live updates we just downloaded direct folder and that was it for us. so we're not going to find any web updates there which means whatever we did here should be okay for us on our terminal. Okay. Whatever we did here should be okay for us on our terminal. All right. So if you have any questions, guys, feel free to reach out to us at the training Kino support team. I'm more than happy to assist you. So guys, I'll see you in your next video. Bye for now.